Ready? Go! <laughs> Go on then! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> How are we, my lovely? All right? Oh, good. So we'll be playing in the dirt, teaching them the great outdoors today. It's supposed to be a rain day, but here we are having fun. <laughs> yes. Here you are, Tommy. Tommy, look, stones. There's some more here. Ah, look at that. You go play. Right. And today, oh, we want to talk about Weetabix. Now, for some silly reason, they want to make Northamptonshire Weetabix share. Well, not exactly. It's a 50 mile radius around the Weetabix factory in Burton Latimer. And that includes us and Northampton. Now, okay, all right, I believe in yeah, naming towns after things that have happened in the past, but Northampton should not be changed. Northamptonshire is a very historic name and it goes all the way back, way, 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 way back, even to when a time Northampton was basically London at one point. All the parliamentary acts, the treasury was kept there um, and, until we took the king's head and brought in a government. So Northamptonshire is a name that should be held firm and stay with us for all time. Now Weetabix, yeah, okay, we could be called Northamptonshire, home of Weetabix, and I don't mind that. Of course, these are my opinions, other people have got theirs, but my main thing here is the guy that has started the petition to call it all Weetabixshire is Jim Beatty. Oh, having a look, there's a thing where he's saying, yes, our land is growing wheat for Weetabix, which is keeping the nation going and all of this jazz. But then when you look into it, Jim Beatty is the same guy that wants to concrete over all of that land for Kettering Energy Park. Train! <laughs> yes! Oh, that sounds good up there. Get some stones. No, no, he's gonna get a roller. Mm, mm. So, um, Jim Beatty wants a concrete over all this land. And then you see him saying that, yes, we are the great wheat of it. You know what? It don't make sense, mate. So, <coughs> yeah, we're quite laughing. You go over onto the wheat of page and you can see Jim Beatty's getting a hell of a roasting on there. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, Evening Telegraph. We rely on you for your information and this seems like a big publicity stunt and you're pushing their agenda in kind of fooling the nation and we rely on your media. So on one side you see their paper saying about Kettering Energy Park how there's insufficient paperwork because of rent. It's absolute greenwashing right across the board. It may not exactly be Jim Beatty. Jim Beatty's giving it over to developers that want to put in big warehouses and they're trying to greenwash us all by saying it's all solar panels and wind farms and it's all that but no it's still going to be hooked onto the grid and they haven't got the paperwork to prove that they're going to be doing all of that so greenwashing to the highest standard and then we see this about wheat mix year jim Beatty, what you doing mate so my idea is is to do a lovely video to kind of push about because if wheatabix are his main customer then surely, if you're going to be concreting over all this land with Kettering Energy Park, people need to know about it. And so does your main customer, Weetabix Shear. No, it's Northampton Shear, home of Weetabix. More ironstone that kept the, the country going, but another one of my opinions. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy family time and enjoy this beautiful artwork. I mean, look at this. I mean, all oh, right, yeah, I don't like a lot of graffiti, but this is colourful. In fact, check this out. Look at that. It's beautiful. I like that. I think there was some more work done on the other side. Sorry, just real quick. Just real quick. Yeah. So, and that looks. Tommy, look, rocks. Lovely. And before you all start, I have checked this place over for needles. <laughs> anyway, lovely stuff. Who is this? Danny and Sophie. Alright, nice. Great work there, guys. 
So yeah, if you don't mind, share that little video about let Weetabix know <laughs> what their supplier is doing, because I don't think that's right. Um, go over to Landscapes Not Industrial Estates Facebook group. I'll leave that one linked in the description down below for you because I'm pretty sure you'll see a lot of interesting facts there about this energy park. It took me a little while to get my head round it. So I actually met Jim Beatty, but he's not too bad. He's a nice bloke, but come on, mate. You ain't fooling us. And with all that love in our hearts, we're going to get some stones and we're going to play, aren't we? Yes. Love and light with a whole heap of unity. Oh, look at his little legs. Oh, oh, he's getting there. He's getting there. Bless him.